So I just wanted to do a quick example of how you could lay out a zine. So I'm using Excaladraw in ROM, but that doesn't matter really. I'm just doing this because it's fairly easy. So right here, you can see uh, for a 16 page zine, we've got four pages um, and each of the well, four sheets of paper um, and each row here is a sheet. And on each sheet, when we fold it in half and given the two sides, we get four pages. So four times four, 16, great. So um, this is just the simple pagination aspect of stuff. The front cover and back cover, as you can see, like if you open a magazine and you lay it down flat, you'll see that the front cover is on the right hand side. Uh, and then the back cover is on the left hand side. That same sheet of paper, if you flip it horizontally, you'll find that the inside cover is on the left and inside back cover is on the right. So for the purposes of this, in terms of numbering, whenever you have files or anything, the front cover, you can think of that as page one. The inside cover, you can think of page two. Pretty, pretty logical, right? So then the back cover is going to be the last page, so 16. And the inside back cover is going to go backwards. So instead of one, two, we're going to go 16, 15. This is helpful because if you've made a physical dummy, you can label those pages and then using this guide, you can kind of see what it's going to look like. So um, what I can do here, and I'll just show you, this is all one page. So it might be kind of obvious, um, but it's okay if it's not. Essentially, this is one page. Um, let me just change the, yeah, that's a fine fill. Um, so right here, this is one page. And then the next one, we're gonna to go to the next page. So as you turn this over, one, two, three will go right here. So we'll finish the process kind of this way. And the pattern, it's kind of geometric, right? One, two, three, four, and then five, six, and then here we get uh, this, the, the in, middle spread's funny. Um, seven, eight, and then what we can do is we can kind of like do the same thing that we're doing backwards. So 16, 15, and put 14 here, 13 here, and this is just a pattern, right? And you can do this with any uh, publication size, you know, the bigger you get, the more you're going to have to do this. This is something that some software like InDesign and others, um, publication software handle for you. So that's nice. So 11, 10, and what's really in the way that you usually know you did it right is that you're going to get this spread at the bottom right corner of this little setup. It's going to be sequenced eight to nine in the right order, right? So if we go read it, we'd be uh, stacking all these pages on top of each other. So this right here, this is its own sheet. So we'll color it just to make that kind of like evident. And then we do this one. But that's the main idea here. So if you want to just take note of that, copy it down, learn that pattern for yourself. Um, and each of these, if you're working in something like GIMP or Photoshop or Paint Studio, you can make um, a file that is kind of numbered 16.1, a file that's numbered like underscore 2, underscore 15. And that way you really, really know and you don't get too, too, too confused if you're working. Because, you know, when you're working at the digital interface, it's, it's hard um, to, to keep track of, of where you are. So file names can be really, really helpful for you. But of course, what are you going to name your file to help you out? And using this little system, um, you can do it pretty, pretty easily. So I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, just send me a message. Happy to um, help troubleshoot any stuff. And there's a lot, a lot of ways to lay out zines. If you're on a photocopier, you can kind of work your way and stumble your way through figuring this out. But generally, this is a nice little system, kind of like setting up your 
physical sheets like that in rows and then numbering them. And then that way, whatever you're trying to do, you can just kind of plug it into those spots. You make some files with these n names like uh, myzine underscore 14 underscore 13. Uh, myzine underscore four underscore three. And I, I recommend that you put them in the order that you see them here. That way at the top of the file, usually you'll be able to see it. And you, you kind of get uh, a reminder which one to put first. That way you don't accidentally put five in front of 12. Because if you do that, your pages are gonna get out of order. And if, especially if it's like a narrative sequence, like in comics, or it's a collection of writing in a zine, that like, order does matter that's gonna matter. So that's kind of the idea. Um, and just to elaborate that, um, you can just name your file. I'll make this bigger, one moment. Exhale, my zine underscore. And let's say this is the, the spread that has page 12 and five. And then depending upon what format, let's just say um, you're working in, I don't know, PNG or something or maybe working in a TIFF, who knows? It all depends on like what you're doing. But right here, I would name your file like that. Myzine 12, five, PNG, PDF, TIFF, JPEG, GIF, if you really wanna compress and lose all your quality. But yeah, hope that helps. If you have any questions, please send me a message, okay? Thanks for watching.